I am a strong advocate for single-sex education. Uh, I had four of my own children attend single-sex education and I have found the benefits to be remarkable. Specifically, I would address the area of science study. Um, in a co-ed school, I think the role of female teenagers is different. At DSHA, my science students are the ones writing on the board. They're the leaders in the laboratory investigations. They're the one trying to get the top grade in the class. So there's no back seat. If you're a female science student in my classroom, you're working hard to be the leader, hands-on and academic uh, testing. The students come to our school young and eager learners, but not yet confident. So through the development over four years of the qualities of the graduate, I have found, and sometimes to my chagrin, that our students have a voice. They have developed a position, they believe in themselves, and they're educated so that they can defend their position and use their voice then to improve their lives and the lives of others. And they do that. The mission of DSHA is rooted in the, our founding uh, sisters, Sisters of the Divine Savior. Uh, several years ago, I had the opportunity to travel with the sisters on a pilgrimage through Rome, where I got to learn of their history and mission and their calling and how it really impacts DSHA as a sponsored organization uh, by the Sisters of the Divine Savior. The mission at DSHA is really, for me, the part I own is a preferential option for the poor. Now, we don't work necessarily with all poor, lower income students. We have a range of socioeconomic uh, students in this building, uh, but really, in addition to addressing the poor directly, we're actually preparing a whole generation of young women that will impact the world that they live in and work in. And so I see us as instilling the Sisters of the Divine Saviors charisms and mission and and drive uh, to witness a, a loving Jesus in their world, even if they're not Roman Catholic, and then to take that voice and really make a difference. So I think we're taking the sister's message and paying it forward hundreds fold. Hands down, my favorite tradition at DSHA is graduation. It's the culmination of all our work. It's tradition and, and emotion and beauty all wrapped up. Uh, each of the students, as I have mentioned before, has a voice. They bring that voice present in the gowns that they choose. Long, white, beautiful gowns that are as individual as each student. Then there's the music and the speeches. It's a very emotional night, very powerful night, and a great celebration. And every year, I cry, but I laugh too.